Hello and welcome to another demonstration of Ecotech Hoofcast Tape Technology. Today the well-known racing farrier Peter Baker is looking at a horse with sheared heels. If you watch in a moment you will see Peter apply pressure to one of the bulbs of the heel and pull with his other thumb the other bulb of the heel and you can see them moving independently of each other. This has obviously caused the horse to have severe lameness and uh, not at all happy about coming out of his box, let alone walking up and down the yard and turning in tight circles. Peter himself will take up the commentary shortly. I had to overdub this earlier section because low flying aircraft and other local noise drowned out our original recording. What Peter is explaining here is he plans to put an Equitec hoof cast bandage all around the foot and underneath the heel area. When hardened he will use this to create a bar structure which should lock the whole of the hoof capsule together. Peter is now giving the foot a good clean with isopropyl alcohol. This is very good at removing built up debris and grease. It's an extremely effective antibacterial agent and also is very good at removing any excess wool from moisture. We're, we're now just establishing that with this particular horse, it's gone beyond the parameters of what I would normally find with sheared hills in racehorses, that this horse has, has become hypersensitive to uh, a, 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 any movement and loading on that. And if he hits a bit of unlevel ground in a field or treads on a flint, he goes acutely lame. So I strongly suspect that the, the shearing forces have cut all the way through his digital cushion. May well be an infection in there, who knows. But it's uh, got down to the, the, the underlying nervous system. And, and he is getting a sensation when he moves and loads on it and unloads on it. So well, what we'll do this, when we put the cuff on, we'll try and stabilise those movements. And we'll just see how it progresses. I would anticipate the horse would be, hopefully, would be fairly, fairly sound once we've got the whole lot in case. But he was uh, actually rescued from uh, being destroyed due to this problem. He's a bit of a nice sort of horse. And get him sound, he's going to be a real asset. Just more or that? No. That's fine. We've just got to let the glue underneath go off and then we can water it and it will go off. This is purely a catalyst to, to set the bandage off. I think it's amazing, and really, if you can, you know, like that other horse, the one you're on about, is it he folded, you say, or? Which one? The one you're on about that's broken. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, we've, we've used on so many horses. Well, that thing I did at the races the other day, that was second in the nested race. Yeah. I went trod on, trod on a shoe on the way down the ramp, it's got blood coming out of his foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard about that one, yeah. And we just put this stuff on, it stabilised everything. Yeah. And it ran the race of his life. And I'll leave this bar in here, go back to the original system of releasing the heels so they can still move to some degree, but uh, leave a bar in here to hold it all together, try and stabilise the, 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 she the shearing. With this uh, configuration, we've got this cuff on, I think I've said it before, we try and nail, nail it back into the heels a wee way bit further than we would if we were nailed into hoof because it, that way it keeps the heels of the shoe united united with the cuff which is glued to the foot uh, so that when the, when the horse loads its toe during motion the heels don't lift because it's with these upright feet when that happens when the heels lift it's the hind leg comes through that treads the shoe off so if you keep the, the shoe and the cuff as one unit which is firmly attached to the hoof by the glue uh, you, we don't get shoe loss. It's quite, it is quite amazing that uh, 
I haven't had, although I, most of the time I'm dealing with horses that have seriously degraded feet due to the fact that they keep losing shoes and the fall, feet fall to pieces, we haven't in the last nine months have one come off through, through being trodden off. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bring him down, Neil. Don't let him trot away with you. You happy with that? So that feels like a beater. Right, uh, we're now uh, February the 14th, Valentine's Day. That's because we love this horse so much. Uh, these, this rebuild on this foot has been on, in place since the 10th of December. I came up a uh, fortnight ago, so a fortnight to three weeks ago, uh, <coughs> to do the other foot, and so I, I, and I stuck some little screws, four on each side, at that stage, because I hoped that I could leave this for another three weeks, which has happened, and I was just a little bit worried that we might get some separation ahead. I'm quite excited at the thought of looking at and seeing how this sheared heel, this very, very severely sheared heel, has uh, sorted itself out. I do know that the day after, from the day after we did him, uh, nine, to, nine and a half to ten weeks ago, the horse has never had an unsound stride. He's been out in the field every day, he's been ridden quite regularly, and it's, 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 uh, it's answered the problems with the sensitivity in his feet, uh, which is only half of the issue. The other, the other half of the issue is whether it is encouraging uh, it, the shearing to uh, mend and re uh, rejoin the, the two halves of the frog. This, this foot still to me is demonstrating quite bad shearing. The, the, there's some activity of serum triple down from inside this and it is eroded, if you notice, it's eroded away the frog structure and it is fairly unstable when I squeeze it and I dare say if, it's, if this horse is still sensitive when I do this, no, whether that, that is a positive because last time I did that he was getting an impulse into the nerves underneath the digital cushion and flying in the air. You can see it's still, a, still fairly unstable, yet the horse isn't giving us a, a reflex like he did before, so he's much more comfortable. We're still faced, however, with trying to hold this together, cleaning it out, trying to hold it together, and trying to get the whole structure to repair. The thing that strikes, strikes me that this hill here now isn't given up to the degree it was last time, so it felt by stabilising the two hills, they seem to be this 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 heel here is still a bit manked up, but it's it seems to be stabilising. Well, to my eyes, it's stabilising more than I imagined it was the stage it was at last time. I just have a little fish under here. Now this is good hard tissue, so I'm not going to disturb that. Uh, I'm going to take off about yeah, about a quarter of an inch off this inside heel try and equalise the loading forces up through the bulbs, try and get it a little bit more stable. We'll take it up to the toe on this side. There's nothing to come off the other side. So we're picking up quite a nice bearing surface now, uh, all the way around the foot, which is something that was completely absent last time we did him. Uh, and we, it, whatever we're doing is, uh, is changing the physiology of the foot, but that's got to be positive. It's still a very bad shape, which you would expect because the heels are a sheared and the hills are moving independently of each other. I'm going to dig, go through the same process as I did before. There's only a few to follow that on the film. I'm going to do it with the uh, isopropanol. Then we'll put a cuff on it, nail the shoe back on, put a dressing underneath it without any medication on at the moment, uh, just to show sat, uh, them how or see how we can do it. Well, good progress, but a way to go yet couple of stills just to remind you where we started today and you can clearly see the growth that took place in the last nine weeks and a still of the final job ready for us to add the next stage in the saga as we record it. Thanks for watching.